So hello and welcome back guys. Today we are here with the back side of the hoodie. We have already done the front side of the hoodie before and a lot of you has it requested for this the back view. So we are here today. So if you want to download download this exclusive uh, PSD files of this mockups you can join our Patreon family. Okay. And uh, you, we will get all the PSD files of the mockups we have done so far. So, what are you waiting for? For now, let's start with the mockup. Uh, let's let's start first. Press Control Plus, and you can just zoom in with it. We have fast forwarded this part because you know how to select it. Just the uh, body part of the um, oh my God. Oh, the body part of the hoodie will be selected using the paint tool. You know this thing. Uh, if you have followed our channel, we have done this so many times. Okay, and um, just do it properly, the selection properly. And if you find any difficulties in this step. But still, if you find difficulties, you can go and watch our previous videos. Only the body part of the hoodie will be selected here as the first step. And using an add anchor point tool, you can just select the curves properly. It is as same as the previous processes. And now we will do the hat of the hoodie. Again, control plus C, uh, control plus and you can zoom in. Now see how I am doing it at the how I am doing it exact compactly. Now as you can see we have not compactly selected the uh, hat portion of the hoodie. We will have some excess portion. Here we will use masking option in the next step. Uh, do not skip the video for this step as it's a very crucial step how we will make it compact and have the only hat part. Similarly in the hands also, in the sleeves also, we will have this excess part. But the outer portion won't have any excess part. It will be compact. But the inner, uh, inner portion, that will be a little excess. But here also, we will only select the upper part of the sleeve, not the extended part that will be because that will be in a different color so select it both the sleeves as you can see with an add anchor point tool you can make the curves prominent on the outer side but inner part leave it as you have done it a little excess later we will use it use the masking option and you after after you have done each part, after you have done, uh, selected each part, name the uh, layers, okay? According to your preferences. So, let me tell you, uh, join our Patron, fi uh, Patron family to get all the PhD files even before the video gets uploaded on the YouTube. So, if you want to get a little extra benefit from our channel, do join our Patron family. And now, select the lower portion of the hoodie. Even after joining our Patreon family, if you uh, need any sort of help, you can just contact us via our mail ID. Also, we take orders for uh, customized Photoshop related works. Uh, so if you have any need or any works, you can also contact us via our mail ID that will be given in our description box. And we do this all in a very reasonable price. So no need to worry. If you have any query or any need, feel free to reach out to us.
Now, we have already done the object IDs. Now, we will increase the opacity of all the object IDs. This is the body part. And then the lower body part. Color them in different colors so that you understand it. As you can see, if I decrease the opacity, that's the excess part. To cut off that part, we will use masking option. First, we will press control and the select the body part. Then we'll take mask. So we will have to erase only that part. Now we will select the lower body part. Now we will click masking option on the body lower part. And we'll take the black color. Black is for erasing and white is for bringing back the color. Okay. Now we will use the color and see we are done. We're done with the lower part. Now we will switch on the hat. As you can see, there's a lot of excess part. Now we will mask the hat shape and the body part. Pressing the control continuously in the same point, okay? Now Again, bring the brush tool and the black color and color it. So, by doing this masking, you will get the exact shape of the hat. In this case, we used masking because, see, here, selecting the hat differently when separately is a little uh, tiresome work. Because we don't understand it, if the picture is not that clear. So, doing it in this way is a lot more easier. Now we will do the... We will do the lower part of the sleeves. Here it will, you will have to do it separately for both the sleeves because we have selected the sleeves separately. Similarly, see? The same process. Okay. Control. Select the sleeves. Mask. Then the lower part. Select. Mask. And with the brush tool, erase it. Again on the left hand. So it's in the red color. First, we'll take... First, we'll take the part we want to erase. That part then from which we will erase. Then with the brush tool, we'll erase it. Simple, right? Now to the last sleeve. Control, mask, increase the opacity so that you can understand. The excess part is on the body part, so select the body. Then again click on the right, mask on the right hand. And then brush tool, it is. Now we have done with all the object IDs. Now, here we will take all the object IDs from the masking part, okay? Not from the shape. Because if we click on the shape, uh, as I'm showing you here on the left sleeve, see? If you click on the shape, the previous shape will come with the excess part. But if we click on the masking part, it will only give you the compact parts. So, we will use the shape for, uh, use the masking part for the patterns okay now we will 
switch the visibility off for object ID. Now we will take a rectangle for the smart object later. Now see, I have drawn the rectangle a little adjacent to the body. Then we will color it in red. And then we will right click and convert it to smart object. Uh, decrease the opacity so that you can see the hoodie's shape. First, uh, press Ctrl and T for transforms. Okay. And then, then again right click on the smart object. And then take wrap so that you can curve the smart object. Okay. Now curve it according to the hoodie shape. It won't be so prominent, but as much as possible. This will be only for the body part. So, go for the masking part. And as you can see, selected the masking option. And then see, the smart object will be converted in the shape of the body part. Now we will fill the rest of the layers with the solid colors. We will select both the red, uh, right and the left sleeve together and pressing the shift we will uh, select them together and then we will color them in a solid color. Go for the solid color. Uh, the black looks really nice so we will let it be black. Now the lower part of the, uh, lower, lower part of the sleeves Again, Control plus Shift and select the both the three. And then take it, take both the parts, and then solid color. Ah, that's the part. Back him. And we'll mm. color them in a little orangish effect. Then the lower part of the hoodie. Then solid color. Right. Five. We will take the black again. <clears throat> now for the hat. Again we'll take the selection. Then solid color. And we went for the orange. Similar orange as the sleeves. Eight. Now these editable parts will be grouped, but you can color them also. And then first we will go to the smart object and take our picture. Now, it has happened. And drag and drop it. See, it is updated. But every time you update it, you have to click that right button. Then again save. So that the picture will get updated automatically. See? If you do not save it, it won't get updated. Then match the colors. Art and work different sharp perfume. With the hoodie and the lower sleeves. In that sort of demo but from overworld test. Now we'll do the FX part. To select. To hold this first. To select the old portion of the hoodie. We will get it from all the masking options. So we'll press. Control plus shift. And. Select. All the masking parts one by one. And then. Press Ctrl and J and then bring it at the top. Okay. Now press Ctrl and J and make it make two more copies. So there will be three copies of this part. And then as usually we'll name it shadow. And the next one will be mid-tone and the third one will be light. 
ready. Night, at the end of the day, is this a set of cardboard? The light will be at the top. Yeah, I'm going to go out home to the top. Then make, we will make it a group and name it as FX. There we will first uh, make the light and tone uh, as visibility off. And then from light, we will take yes. the normal convert it to multiply. So see there will be change in the effect then switch on the mid tone and we'll make it linear dots add for the mid tone and then for the third one and then we'll go to levels and then we'll adjust the levels a little so that it comes to a moderate effect uh, however you want it and then okay and then now switch on the light and i mean this near light then Linear burn adjustments level. We will change the points a little. Lift it as you want it. Now we are done with FX. Now, if you want to color the background, then Select the footy part and select the select a solid, uh, solid color. After I've covered up the text, you can give, give any color you want. Then from normal, make it transform into linear bond. And now we are done with our lockup with the footy. Thank you for watching. After